you missed the mark on why the country is, and there's no uh, hand basket involved, but it's going to hell. So my column on Sunday was God and country. And I followed it up yep. today with a message of the day on BillOReilly.com, which said there's a ferocious, fierce backlash against woke. And it, it rose quickly. And it's not fueled by ideologues or an irresponsible, dishonest press. This is coming from the hearts and minds of regular folks who are not that involved in ideology, but they've had enough. So the mistake you made historically was after 9-11, the country came together. And, and the divisions that were rising really smoothed out for a period of, of two years until the Iraq invasion went south. Mm -hmm. Then the culture wars reignited again as people took mm -hmm. sides. But after 9-11, when our people were murdered by an ideology, mm -hmm. all right, a jihad, that most Americans said, and we're not going to take this, and we're, we don't really care whether we're conservative or liberal, everybody came together and said, get the bastards. And we did. Um, but now it's a totally different age. We have a weak leader, the second worst president, in my opinion, in history. And we have true danger looking at us. So let me run down the three reasons why this country is going to hell. Number one, the rise of a new axis of evil. Russia, China and Iran are all much more emboldened today than they were when Donald Trump was president. I don't want to make this political, but that's a fact. Number two, federal spending, and this plays into the debt ceiling, totally out of control. And the reason it's out of control is that the Democrats want to buy votes and give people stuff to a degree never before seen. And the Republicans don't want to compromise. They want to slash and burn. And you're seeing that in a reaction to the debt deal, which for the country is a good deal because it's only two years. And McCarthy is smart in what he did. But the two sides uh, are never going to come together. And the third thing is the open border, which will play out, all right, after, after Biden leaves office in a way that people just can't anticipate. You can't have this flood of humanity coming into this country, all right, without unforeseen unintended consequences. Now, James Buchanan was the worst president we've ever had, and that's a fact. I found this book, Cuomo. I don't think there's another one on earth. And I was very lucky. I, as you know, I am a historian and a collector of American uh, history. This is a book, Mr. Buchanan's administration on the eve of the rebellion, which was published in 1866. It is mm -hmm. signed by Jamie. He signed it. And again, I don't think Great. there's another one on the planet. So what Buchanan did was he allowed the South to gain in strength and arrogance uh, yeah. and did nothing. OK. And so the South basically said, hey, this federal government, they're weak. We can do what we want. We want to enslave mm -hmm. people. We can do that. And they're not going to be able to stop us. Bang. Lincoln comes in and the Civil War starts. Right. Very, very. Um, very, very close to the weakness that America is showing the world now, which started with Afghanistan, by the way. It emboldened our enemies and it emboldened people who hate America, not only overseas, but inside. It said, we can do what we want. So if we want to invade a Catholic church, as we spoke about last week, um, and we want to disrupt and commit sacrilege inside the church as yeah, but the who's, sisters who's of we? perpetual indulgence. Who's did. we? You're talking about a the you're talking about a fringe group uh, yes. of with no membership but they had no fear. and no impact. No, but here's the thing. Well, wait They've minute. always been doing what they're doing. Wait, 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 no, wait, 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 wait. They had no right, fear of consequences, and no consequences happened until the dopey Los Angeles Dodgers tried to honor them and will honor them. Then all hell right. broke loose because that was pent up you, emotion, pent right, up But again, anger. there was never going to be there. Was, the church didn't even file a criminal complaint, uh, and the reason they didn't because do anything. they are not a targeted minority Christians. Now, 
Look, I disagree with most of what you just said, but that's not the point. The point is this. If you read Bill's uh, argument over the weekend, which was sound, he's talking about Judeo-Christian ethics. The reason that I pose the question of whether he's part of the problem is because if you just fan the flames of how bad everything is, which is absolutely what you do, and then you take a pass on any responsibility for doing that by saying, well, I'm just analyzing it as a historian, whatever, you should be telling people who come and follow you and listen to what you say, if you call yourself a Christian, live it. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.